Welcome back to the channel. This video I'll be covering the lessons learnt from my first ride out on my BMW R1200C, affectionately known as Ambrosia. And basically the part of the uh, first ride out I wanted to check out the various bits and pieces that I bought, namely the uh, magnetic sort of tank uh, uh, holder and also the the gripper onto the handlebars or the uh, engine guards for various uh, footage. Uh, but also last minute I decided to uh, use my uh, iPhone, my 11 Pro Max, uh, with one of these uh, chest strap-ons, um, to see how they behave. Because I realized that the actual 11 Pro Max as well as some other iPhones have image stabilization built into them. So I thought, well, let's give it a try. And uh, so basically the, uh, the magnetic tank uh, mount, we'll move over here, we can see is that it is quite a wide base on it and it does stick really well. It is quite, quite, quite tough to pull off. And also on the side is what I sort of plan to uh, try and get some angles and footage. Although it's, it really is pretty tough. There was a smaller radius one as well, but I didn't think that would, would do the job. So I've got this one with a wider radius on there. So definitely this one was quite a good idea. And this is the handlebar clamp went on there. Just try not to grab any of the wires or the cables with it as well. And that seems uh, reasonably straightforward to fit. There's some nice, I think some rubber on the inside there so it doesn't damage the bars themselves. So I'll use this one as well. It's got various adjustable angles and so you can get the GoPro exactly how we want it. So that was good. And I also mounted it down on the engine uh, bars. I'll show you that in a second. So here we are. There were various points I could have mounted it, but this one, I wanted to get the, uh, the telelever arm into the shot and some of the wheel ideally so, and I didn't want to get in too close to the cylinder there for the heat. So this point seemed to be the perfect place for it. So I mounted this one for the engine shots. Yep, we can do it the right way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And got it onto there. So that seemed to work quite well to get that sort of angle. So I thought I'll just experiment with those two clamps and those two mounts and uh, we'll see how we get along with that. The biggest lesson learned from the ride out is the, is the old audio. I knew it would be. Um, I just didn't work with this, all this length, all this cable hanging, dangling, wrapped around the front of the helmet. So I thought, well, how bad is it? without a mic. I mean, I knew the answer was going to be pretty bad, uh, but I thought I'd try it. So when I did uh, do the, the ride out, is I tried to just to use the uh, GoPro back mic uh, to see how bad it was. And it was pretty bad. The moment you got above anything of 10 miles an hour and the wind kicked in, it was just, as you saw from the video, it was just impossible. So uh, an obvious lesson learned, if I had to <laughs> admit it, is that, yeah, it's... Uh, it wasn't going to work very well. But trying to find a short one of these so that I can actually run it from the GoPro into inside the chin. Um, a funny story, basically. Um, until uh, a chap named uh, Chris commented on the video with the audio the problems that I was having, and he dropped the, 
the obvious bombshell is that using a gaming headset mic that he has used uh, to solve his uh, problem with that one and, and it was just so so blatantly obvious I was concentrating on the on the woods I couldn't see the trees I was trying to work out a way of how to shorten this I was watching videos about cutting it and splicing it and taking all the sheathing away and using a soldering iron uh, to make it a nice little short one that would fit in and I was googling short mics like crazy you'd think a gaming headset mic would have popped up on screen at some point it just didn't well what uh, he said was just uh, <laughs> when I read it I went so damn obvious so uh I've given up watching videos about splicing this and making this shorter and so I've ordered uh, two or th three uh, various gaming headsets um, some of them with an angled uh, three and a half mil jack because I wanted to point down from the back of the GoPro so that it's already pointing in the right direction to go under to go into the helmet so it's pointing down from here it's easier just to bend it to go under as opposed to coming straight out than having to bend it down and to go inside so those are on order from Amazon and uh, we'll see what we uh, how that's gonna work I think it should work again I made sure that there were the right connector uh, a TRS versus a TRRS uh, that's something I learned definitely from this whole experience so far Right, so the next step is I was just going to run through the, the videos that I did take, uh, some of the raw material of the footage, just to show how bad it really was. Um, and the other thing, definitely a lesson learned from it, is I'm going to need another camera, uh, another GoPro, or maybe one of those Insta360s, perhaps. It seems to be very popular. People tend to use that in that combination, a GoPro and a 360 camera. Um, purely and simply because to get the footage I wanted with the various angles, I had to drive up and down that lane several times and mounting the camera in different positions yeah, to get the set footage and then afterwards line them up in the editing software and, and cut between and it was just kind of yeah that's not going to work in practicality if I'm heading for a, a big ride out somewhere I'll be going up and down the same stretch of road you know several times just took out different footage with the one camera so that's definitely a, a definitely a lesson learned from that experience is that yeah I'm gonna need another camera uh, on that one so but I thought perhaps the iPhone itself will uh, will will be the second camera but I found that yeah have not very good feedback from people who have tried to use the an iPhone for uh, motor vlogging uh, it's okay when it's on the chest because you your body a uh, uh, whole thing does save it from a lot of vibration yes I've got the quad lock on the handlebars there with the dampener on it it's possible I could use that. I've got a spare um, uh, 8 Plus, uh, iPhone 8 Plus, which I might try it on the quad lock and just see how it behaves and how the image stabilization, if it has any for the 8 Plus, how that might work as well. Might use it as a different angle facing me. And uh, so, yeah. And the other thing I didn't check on the footage, which is another lesson learned, is to check all the settings before I actually kick off, is that the iPhone, even though I wanted it in 4K 30 frames, when I actually did film it, it just ended up in 1080p HD 30 frames or 60 frames. Uh, I noticed that during the editing, when I was pulling it in, I was going, this doesn't look right, and it dawned on me what was going on. So definitely another lesson learned is check all the settings before you're heading off, checking off the correct resolution, the correct frame rate, uh, the mic settings, because uh, I'm pretty sure at one point I was using the forward mic on the GoPro while, while it's on the, on, my, on the chin on the helmet. Can't be sure, but it, you know, just a lesson learned to check that as well. So let's go through the various raw footage. I'll try not to make it too long. I'll just point out the obvious bits uh, in there. And... Uh, and we'll wrap up the video after that and uh, we'll take it from there. Cheers! Alright, testing, testing. I don't know how much of a mic is going to pick up. This is just the back external mic from the media in the media mod. It's quite a bit of a breeze up, so I'm not sure how much it's going to pick up. But this is a test. Test, test, test. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. 
Let's see how much of the mic is picking up. was like from there to here well the bike is off which probably is fine but I bet when we get going I'm not going to hear a sausage
too close. So, after all that, um, I believe the next uh, ride out should be a lot better. Uh, hopefully when those uh, gaming mics arrive and uh, hopefully they'll work with the GoPro. And uh, I'm going to also use a mic for the iPhone. Uh, I'll run it down the inside of the jacket to either the front or the back to see if we can pick up just engine noise and no wind noise. That's something I'd like to try and also use a bit more commentary uh, with the microphone inside the, the helmet on there. I get the feeling that the GoPro is going to have to stay on the helmet and not really move about much because it's, it's my only source of uh, audio really all the way through. And, um, and then hopefully the next ride out will be a, a much better experience. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, if you have any comments, any uh, ideas, you think I could improve things by all means uh, put them in the uh, in the comments below. Um, subscribe, uh, please do and uh, tinkle that bell so that you'll get alerted when I post my next video. So I hope you're enjoying uh, the few videos I've done so far and uh, I look forward to uh, uh, doing more and I'll see you in the next one. So take care, bye bye for now.